controlling application layer traffic on the ASA. It's one thing to open up port 80 on the outside of a firewall to let that traffic from the internet hit your server. It's a whole nother thing altogether to understand what's really happening at the application layer. Are those protocols properly formed? Do you have users on the outside who are tunneling other types of traffic other than HTTP and hiding it behind port 80? The answer is probably yes. <laughs> how do we discover that and how can we control what goes on at the application layer? One great option is to do application layer protocol inspection. This micro nugget is going to take us through an example of how we can do it with one specific protocol just as a tip of the iceberg as far as what could be done. Let's jump in. The first question we're going to answer is, what exactly is the ability to analyze application layer protocols? And more importantly, why would we even need that? Well, at the application layer, we have protocols like HTTP and FTP, and they have certain commands that they send back and forth. Now, why would that come in useful to be able to look at that traffic and control it? Let's say as an example, we have a corporate headquarters right here. I know we're growing. It's a server, an inside client, and a firewall, but we're growing. And we're asking people to send in some files to us via FTP. They're going to put those files on the FTP server, but we want to make sure that none of the sites have the ability to delete files. It's like at the Roach Motel, the files check in, but they can't check out. To do that, we could implement security on the FTP server, and we definitely should. But in addition, we can also tell the ASA to pay special attention to the application layer protocol of FTP. And if it sees the command of DELE, -E, which is the FTP command for deleting a file, go ahead and stop that request so it never even makes it to the server, the request to delete. So that's an application of where we could use this application layer snooping. So let's take a look at verify, first of all, before we put this into place. Let's verify that we have an FTP client that can work. I've got a client right here on this simulated internet. We'll hit the server at the address of 192.168.1.176. We'll verify FTP works. We'll then implement the application layer protocol inspection and control, and then we'll see the differences afterwards. Let's go ahead and start with the baseline. So here's our baseline. I'm connected on a PC and my IP address is 192.168.1.18. I'm on the outside of the ASA. I've got my FTP client open to the globally mapped address of the FTP server on the DMZ at 1.176. And if I want to copy files over, let's go ahead and try that real quick. I'll just drag some files just to verify that it works. And we can copy files over no problem. The other question is, can we delete files? So if we want to delete a file, it could highlight one hit delete and say, are you sure? And if you'll notice, we have the delete command that was successfully executed and we deleted that specific file. So there's our delete command right there. Now let's implement the controls for protocol inspection of FTP and specifically not allow at the ASA the delete command to go through. To configure this new rule, we're going to go to configuration, firewall, service policy rules. And right here, we're just going to modify the default global policy. To do that, you can either double click or click on edit. Either way brings it up. And we're going to go to rule actions for the default policy. And we're going to specify for FTP that we want to configure application layer deep packet inspection to control what commands are allowed. To do that, we're going to create something called an FTP type inspect policy map. And we're going to click on configure to do that. It says you need to use this keyword strict to make it happen. No problem. And we click on add to add our new policy map. I'm going to call this no dash. We'll call it no delete. How about that to be very clear. And we'll also click on the details of that. And we'll say for the inspections, we want to go ahead and add an inspection that's going to find the request command of DELE. So in short, this is going to say, if I find the requested command of DELE, I'm going to go ahead and reset this connection and I'm going to log it. Sounds great to me. We OK our way all the way out. It applies it. And now let's go ahead and test it. So we'll go back to our same FTP client. In fact, I'm going to reconnect to reset our session. Let's go to temp. And now I can still copy files over. So I should be able to, I should say. So let's grab file one, drag it over. So the copy function still works. We still have access to that FTP server, but if we do a delete of a file, it should go ahead and bark at us. So let's go ahead and try our delete with a simple delete. And it's going to ask us if we are sure. I'll go ahead and say yes. And you'll notice that immediately it gave us a message saying we're disconnected from the server and the connection is aborted. That delete is not going to happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at the console to see the logging message that was also generated that can tell us why. So here's our console message that was generated. It says strict FTP inspection. It matched the request delete in policy map and it had 
no delete right over here and it reset our connection from the outside which is coming in for 192.168.1.18 which was me and it is over so i have the the logging that happened i also have the reset because of our application policy inspection that's not allowing deletes in this micro nugget we took a look at just one example of how we could do snooping into the application layer to control what commands are allowed in this example with ftp but you know what there's other great examples of why we might want to do this application layer inspection, including making sure that our protocols like HTTP are compliant, that they're not misusing the protocol, that people aren't tunneling other traffic through port 80. And by taking a deeper look, we can control that right here at the ASA. So in our example, we took FTP. We simply told FTP that certain commands are not allowed, specifically delete, and the ASA enforced it by doing a reset anytime he saw a client doing the delete. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.